Today on All Across Oregon, we head back to the beautiful Klamath County. We start our day with a family-run outdoor guide company, kayaking on the lake in glass bottom kayaks. From there, we head to a family-run resort right here in our own backyard. Golfing, horses, delicious food, and gorgeous views that make the busiest people stop and smell the roses. Klamath Falls, here we come. This episode of All Across Oregon is made possible in part by John Warakoy, CPA, premier tax professional and profit builder in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Travel Southern Oregon. Travel Southern Oregon supports a diverse, thriving, and sustainable visitor economy to create a better life for all of our region's residents. Visit Southern Oregon. Do something great. Discover Klamath invites you to unleash your sense of adventure and embrace the wonder of Southern Oregon. Here, you'll experience captivating landscapes and thrilling journeys under endless blue skies. Discover Klamath and see what adventures are waiting for you. Klamath Falls, Oregon, also known as the City of Sunshine, is another one of Oregon's outdoor playgrounds. From biking, fishing, hiking, horseback riding, zip lining, golfing, water sports, and more. You can do it here in this fun town just 79 miles southeast of Medford. So here we are back visiting the family that took us zip lining last year. Just love this family. You remember Jennifer and Darren Rowe? Well, today they're introducing us to their new adventure, Clearwater Kayaking. Here we go. Oh, this is a trip. Cool, huh? I look like I'm wet, but I'm not wet. Hey, are we supposed to be this low to the water? We are. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna go under. I'm watching the water break around us here. Oh, sorry, I know you're trying to pace me, huh? You're good. I'm all messed up. How long have you been doing this? So this is actually my fourth summer. And this is the first season with the glass bottoms? Yes, this is the first season. Any history you want to tell me about this river? So uh, this is part of the Upper Klamath Lake. The whole lake is about 25 to 26 miles long, about 12 miles wide. One really cool thing about this is all these lilies here on the left side, uh -huh. kind of anywhere on the sides of the banks were used by Native American tribes here, the Klamath and Modoc. They were like the primary source of starch, so they made flour out of them. They also made spices and seasonings. You can see them, there's little yellow flowers. So they're really interesting to see, but inside them, right after they bloom and they start to die, the flower starts to die off, there's a fruit in them that the Native Americans used to eat, and it's actually super sweet. Okay, that whole region um, in the mountainous background there with that little caldera up there, is the Mountain Lakes Wilderness Area. Absolutely stunning, very, very lightly used. Do you like a little? <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I think I have ever done. And I've been kayaking, but never where I can see everything underneath me. That's also another fun fact, is this is part of the wildlife um, refuge, so you get to see lots of different birds going on the Pacific Flyway. So they land here, especially bald eagles. This time of day, you're gonna see a lot more birds. Um, early morning, later evening, you're gonna see things like otters, muskrats, beaver, raccoons. Sometimes the deer will swim out. And then all kinds of migratory birds, depending on the time of year, you're gonna see pelicans, terns, swallows. Um, and that's just a few of the thousands of uh, uh, things that you could see. People always ask me if I like kayaking or canoeing better. And I tell them, either or. <laughs> we got the jokes. We got the jokes. Another all day tour that we offer are our kayaking, which is a kayaking and zip lining excursion together. So that when you either go out in the morning, get your lovely kayaking, and then uh, in the afternoon, go out and go for 
fun, exhilarating zipline tour. Or it could be the other way around. You start in the zipline in the morning and then you get to relax in the afternoon with your nice kayaking tour. Speaking of relaxing, all right. Let's see it. Let's see the power of the rower. <laughs> oh, it is so beautiful out here. Talk about a way to get out of just the daily grind. This is, um, this is how you got to do it right here. And not only is the, uh, the scenery beautiful, the people are as kind and as beautiful as your surroundings. So you got to come check this out. Beautiful, beautiful experience. I will never forget this. See ya. Wow. If you haven't done something like this before, go do it. It was fun, they were friendly, it was beautiful. I could have stayed out there all day. That was so cool. Now we're heading over to a family run resort just a few miles down the way. Most of the time, we just drive by the Running Y Resort and think, ah, oh, it's just golf. But oh no, it's way more than that. So here we are at the Running Y Resort. They say, Inspired by the outdoors and bathed in the glow of 300 days of sunshine, Running Y Resort invites you to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. So I was on the phone with Jason, who's in charge of the Running Y Resort, and I asked him, Jason, what else do you do at the Running Y Resort? He just chuckled. He said, Vinny, we do it all. Horseback riding. We have a full gym. We have a full service spa, restaurants lodging, you name it. I mean, this place has it all. Well, I've never teed up alongside a professional before. <laughs> it's an experience to remember for sure. But you remember Greg, the golf pro? He's gonna take us out on this beautiful golf course now. So here we go. You're back at home in heaven here, golf uh, heaven. This is the most beautiful place. <laughs> I mean, it all starts when you pull in, right? And you experience that feeling as you come over the hill, view of the golf course and the mountains open up to you and you're like, whoa. You just know that this is where you're meant to be, right? It's gonna be a great day when you come down that hill. I'm with you. This place is breathtaking. And you know what? And it's so quiet and the people are so friendly. I mean, this is a, I'm just ready to do some golf. You guys ready to go golfing? We've got a pro with us today. Let's see how he does it. Here we go. This is not a job. I just have to say this, okay? We get to work where people go on vacation. I mean, how much more special can life be? I have a little ode to Arnold Palmer here on my head cover. So he's the guy that designed this golf course. Is that right? He's the only one in Oregon, which is pretty cool. We're a member of what's called his Sweet 16. At one point, a reporter asked him, he was doing an interview, what's the favorite golf course you've ever designed in your career? And he's done hundreds of them across the globe, right? Mm -hmm. And he sat there and he pondered for a moment. And he ends up saying, you know, I like this one, I like this one. He goes on, yeah. ends up naming 16 golf courses, and we were one of them. We, we kind of are very proud of that, that, having that honor. And you can see why, it's special, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The scenery's great, the greens are great, the fairways are great. You want to show me how it's done? Let's do it. After you. Okay, well, we'll make believe I had a blue shirt on with a gray hat. Maybe one practice swing, huh? Okay. Oh, that would have been, that would have been a bad one. Oh. Are we playing baseball? Hey, Levi. 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 Perfect. Hey, we'll take it. I'm gonna hit his ball, then we'll go hit mine later. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got GPS equipped carts that gives you your yardage. Oh, we do. We have GPS. You've got 170 yards to the hole from here. You want to hit this 165 yards in the air if you can. All right, no pressure. Good club shot. Maybe good you should have hit choice. the five. That was a good shot, though. That was nice, man. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Who's gonna make the birdie? Pull it out of there for me, please. Okay. Whee. Whoa, that was a little strong. That was so close. <laughs> you know, I never played with an actual pro before, so I'm a little, you know, I'm trying to rise to the occasion here, so. Oh, too much too. Too way too much. Is this a par three? Par four. 
That was the line. That was it. That was the line. Hey, wait. Nice. Excellent. That's a good start. It's really interesting. I've worked here for 22 years now, and I've got a comment twice in the last couple of weeks I'd never heard before. And both people were really good golfers, and they said, you know, your first three-hole stretch of golf is the best I've ever seen. Before. And I've never heard it in 22 years, so it's really interesting to me that people are saying that. You step out here and you can see why, right? Like, it's just gorgeous. 100%. You have the mountains in the backdrop. Um, we'll go play a par five next that gives us another chance to make a birdie and okay. get our day started. Oh, yeah, you got a birdie, huh? Yeah. Well, I got a par. You got a par. A little birdie on the next one. All right. All right, let's go. Don't think you're catching that one either, just to warn you. All right, we're smack talking now. <laughs> You know, there is one thing I can do on the golf course, you know, like smack talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, come back. There you go. There it is. Woo. Okay. Thank goodness. That's a well-trained golf ball. It knows where it's going. I just want to see if, you know, if there's any cork in here that I don't know about. <laughs> the cork's right here. No. <laughs> Not bad. He did great. That was fun, man. Okay. Thanks for coming back. You have a beautiful, beautiful course. Thank you. What a great host he was and so fun. Make sure you go say hello to Greg. So we just had some, a ton of fun golfing. This has got to be the most beautiful course I've ever stepped foot on. And I had the opportunity to play in places like Hawaii. And, and the unique thing about this course is every time you play it, it'll feel like a different course. Uh, people always say, every time I play, even the annual pass members will go, every time I play it, it feels different. Well, I worked up a little bit of an appetite and I hear about this grill. Yeah, so, you know, coming into uh, roll a couple years ago, you know, we definitely have the asset of the golf, uh, but what we were missing is what do you do with the turn and what do you do when you finish your round? Because a lot of golf courses have their 19th hole, and so we needed a place to eat. So um, I talked to Bill and Linnell, and they uh, uh, supported us uh, purchasing a mobile grill. Let's go check out the grill. Okay, it's time to eat. I want you to meet Diana. This girl can make a mean burger. Thank you for having us. So this is our mobile grill. This is really where we run just about everything uh, food-wise for the golf course. So golfers are coming around, they take that turn, they call ahead, then we grab them some food. Come on, let's get our cook on, man. Let's do this. All right. I spent a little time in the kitchen myself. Okay. So we got a couple dishes that we were uh, hoping to try with you guys today. Okay. One of them's gonna be our pulled pork. Uh, that one, it's got like a Southern Carolina sauce. My boss, actually, the head of the food and beverage department. He actually makes that from scratch. So when he makes the pulled pork, he pulls the drippings out of the pulled pork and actually incorporates it back into the sauce. Oh my so everything goodness. Everything just kind of works together. I have never smelled that before. Right? All that renderings like right there. Right, and then he Man. makes coleslaw from scratch and we throw that right on top and then throw some dill pickles on that, toast our brioche bun. We call it a day with that. Honestly, I've never heard anybody complain about it. You can pretend you come around, you finish your nine, you finish nine holes, and then I call ahead and say, oh, you know what I like? I would like one of the pulled pork, please. The one of the pulled pork sandwiches with all this good coleslaw, homemade coleslaw, homemade pulled pork. This bun can't be any softer. This can't smell any better right now. Oh. Mm. Oh. They ran away from me. It's so good. Sweet, hot. The coleslaw is perfectly crisp. Just the right amount of salt. Yeah, sorry. It was all me today. We actually have very specifically our RYR signature burger. I think it is like the staple of this grill is Everybody says whenever you go down to the grill, you've got to try that burger. Okay. It's just next level. Best okay. We're in town, best views in town. What? We're going for it. Let me have one of the RBR, or no, RYRB. I'm coming through just this round to the ninth hole. That's exactly how they call us. RYRB. That's what we're here to have today. RYRB. Did you have one of these yet today? Huh? Oh, yeah, I already did. Mm. Mine had jalapenos on it, though. Oh. Hello, Signature. Yes, sir. 
It's got that, uh, it's got that messy feel that a burger should have. There you go. Oh. Happy dance. Happy dance. Come on, happy dance. Happy dance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Probably our most popular cold dish, definitely a signature for us, is gonna be our Southwest salad. It's gonna be the last thing that we make for you today. It's gonna to be made with the corn and bean mix. Our, uh, our head chef, Wayne, he actually is the one who, over the course of years, I think over the course of the past 20 years, he's been doing this for 40, he's been perfecting this black bean salsa recipe. And that is probably the thing that we get the most compliments on. So we're doing a salad. Our cold set. A salad. I would love to yes, see sir. the salad. I would love right. to eat the salad. All right, and then the final step is gonna be our tortilla strips right here. And this really just adds to that mouthfeel. That ranch is so perfectly balanced. Isn't it? Mm hmm So that's what we strive for, being, being where we are. We want to cater to as many people as we can. We want something that's spicy, but not mm. that you can't tolerate it. I would drive from Medford just for this. Oh, yeah. Easy. Well, thank you for everything. What a treat this was. Yeah. Now, here's something else that you can enjoy, horseback riding right here inside the Running Y Resort. I want you to meet my new friend, Jacqueline, and see what she's doing here in the resort and for the community. I know nothing about this equestrian program. Jason mentioned it from helping people access horses that cannot normally access horses or make it easier for them or? So we've created a variety of programs that um, are more inclusive. We offer trail rides to accommodate as many abilities from beginner rider on to experienced rider, kids as little as six on up. But also we're trying to make our program more accessible for um, individuals with disabilities or different abilities because trail riding is such a wonderful activity. And then we are located on this beautiful lake. But also we've done a bunch of educational programs. So we have some classes for kids, um, even for kids as little as preschool age. They learn safe horsemanship with our mini horses. You can see one of them back there, that's There's Fabio. A horse. There's a mini horse, can we go pet it? I can bring him out for you if you like. Yes. This is Teddy. Teddy is about 31 inches tall. Teddy, I, I, I will, can I throw a saddle on? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can take him for a walk or a jog. He's one of my favorite really? jogging partners, yeah. Hi, Teddy, and so you're so good to the kids. Teddy will participate in all the Pony Pal classes and allow himself to be painted. And then we'll have the kids lead them out on a scavenger hunt on the trail. It's a great way to get kids outdoors, interacting with nature. You know, do these live longer? Do yeah, yeah, miniature minis? horses and ponies tend to live longer than horses. But most of our horses are in their second career. So several of them here are in their late teens or 20s. Our Appaloosa over there was a mounted police horse. Our paint gelding over there was he competed in barrel racing and jumping. So they find kind of like a, a second career here being trail horses. It's a nice life for them. They're probably pretty spoiled, huh? Yeah, they get a lot. <laughs> they get a lot of love. <laughs> Come on, Teddy, we'll go for a walk. You want to take him for a walk? Yeah. Sure. You want about a foot in between you and him so he doesn't accidentally step on you. And he's, okay. he's real interested in this grass right here because it is absolutely you delicious. Have it, Teddy. I'm, so I'm, you... <laughs> I'm patient. <laughs> he's like, oh, we're great friends. Teddy, here. How about this? How about I go like this? Can I give you to follow me? Now you could give him a tug with that rope and start walking. And ideally, he will follow you. Come on, Tatters. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I'm your friend. Oh, okay. There's more with that. Come on. Come on, Teddy. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Come on. So, Teddy, this is your interview now. <laughs> We'd like to ask you a few questions about how you help all the little kiddos. I bet the kids love Teddy. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Goodness this up. is a nice walk up here. If you head up this trail, eventually you'll, you'll hit the lake. This is one of the trails we ride on. Me and Teddy going for a walk. You should try jogging. Really? Yeah, it's really fun to run with a horse. Okay. Come on, Teddy. There you go. I have never done this before. <laughs> oh man, that little horse was so cute. Walking a horse, who would have thought? It's a must. You gotta walk a horse. Generally what we'll do on our first day of camp is we'll get the kids leading the minis around so they get real comfortable with the horses. Yeah. Before we even work with the big horses. And now here it is, you bought all your skill and expertise to help all these people in the, right here at the Running Y Resort. Yeah. As part of it. That is, that is very, very neat and very uh, inspiring. You don't have to be staying here at the Running Y Resort. Right. 
but you come over here and this could be part of your day. Yeah, you could be a tourist in your hometown. You can, you know, we have people that have lived in Klamath Falls and they say, you know, I've never been up here. And I didn't even know this existed. No, we're just scratching the surface here. Yeah. I, guys, we're just scratching the surface <laughs> at the Running Light Resort. This is incredible to know this is like right off of, what is that, that's 140, right? You're right there off of 140 and you got a whole new world out here. It's, a, it's everything so far. It's gorgeous out here too. Um, if you have an opportunity at some point, you know, to hike this trail or come on one of our rides, like this is only just the beginning. I made a new friend. You like that? <laughs> Teddy kind of has an ego. He knows. He knows he's cute. <laughs> oh, he does. Okay. I could be a, oh, a horse <laughs> hairdresser. <laughs> and get your knots out for you and I'll give it a little. There you go. Thank you so much for taking the time and, and sharing this program with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> That's all over my knee. <laughs> oh. Now, if you're not a golfer, a horse person, or a big eater, don't worry. There's more to do. There's a full spa. Meet Adrian. She gives us the full experience of what this beautiful spa has to offer. I would not have expected to find a spa like this right here. Yeah, in the golf pro shop. So today I'm gonna to give you the ultimate spa treatment, give you a little facial with our RYR product, our algae products made here in Klamath Lake. Okay, so you can get into a robe here. Here we go. You can come on back uh, to your treatment room. Oh come my on in here. goodness. This is our wet room. So we do facials, body treatments, everything in here. <laughs> Have you ever had an actual facial before? Blue green algae has so many great properties. It will help you. Really? Yes. What does it do? It adds oxygen to your skin, which helps with cell turnover. Uh, blue green algae itself comes from the Klamath Lake and then put into a dry powder and then they send it to our lab and we add it into our organic ingredients. And then we let that sit on for 10 minutes. It's burning. I'm going to die on TV. I feel it. Cool, man. I feel like I'm 10 years younger. Right. Don't you feel good with that blue green algae? Yeah, blue green algae for sure. Yes. I'm a fan. <laughs> so in here we can do three side-by-side -side pedicures uh, and we have the two manicure tables and you have a gorgeous view of the golf course out here. Right outside the windows you can eat at the moment. Oh, this is, and this is all tinted, they can't see in, huh? Yes. Yeah. That's good because that's my wife and my daughter. They would be dying right now if they saw me in a robe like this. So we're going to come in here to the touchless service room. These wow. are jet boots. It's like a massage for your legs. So it helps with circulation, blood flow, can help with sports injuries. It's really popular. Yeah. yeah so it's basically going to start pressure at your feet and it's going to uh, hold the pressure as it works up all the way to your leg. Oh yeah. So when it, um, with lymphatic drainage, you have to drain into your core system. So from your legs, you have to drain up, from your arms, you drain in. So we want that pressure to all go up your leg and that's how it can help with swelling, inflammation, and make you feel better. Okay, now we're going to tell you about New Calm. New Calm? New Calm. Is better than Old Calm? So new calm. <laughs> new calm. So this was created by a doctor to help reduce stress and anxiety. It's a series of music, but it has to do with frequency and how you hear it. So there's different frequency rates in the headphones that hear you hear different things at different times. So your brain can't really follow it. The frequency in this actually puts you down into a REM sleep. So that when you're in REM sleep, that's when your body recovers. That's why when you don't sleep very well, you end up being sick and tired, have anxiety, more stress, right? I don't think we could do any REM sleep right now. Okay, so this is the real full treatment here. Real full treatment. Stress, anxiety, and lymphatic drainage. This is our new cosmetic line, so it actually has CBD in it. So CBD can help with a variety of things. So we use the body oil in our massage, the body cream in our massage. Uh, wow. There's also a scrub. Smell that. This has been a real treat today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Glad you came in. Everybody's wondering. I'm ready to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's go. <laughs> and there was more and more. And then the beautiful lodging, the rooms. I can't wait to come back. What a great day. We could have spent the whole weekend here. I hope you enjoyed the Klamath Valley as much as we did. So fun, so beautiful, so tasty. What a bunch of great hardworking people that want you to have a time to remember. Thank you, Klamath. We'll be back soon. See you next time as we go all across Oregon. This episode of All Across Oregon was made possible in part by John Warakoy, CPA, premier tax professional and profit builder in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Travel Southern Oregon. Travel Southern Oregon supports a diverse, thriving and sustainable visitor economy to create a better life for all of our region's residents. Visit Southern Oregon. Do something great. Discover Klamath invites you to unleash your sense of adventure and embrace the wonder of Southern Oregon. Here, you'll experience captivating landscapes and thrilling journeys under endless blue skies. Discover Klamath and see what adventures are waiting for you.